Welcome back to the Discovering Plants series. In the last video we learned about parts of plants and their functions. We also discussed stems in detail. Today we will learn in detail about leaves and flowers. Let's start with leaves. Leaves make food for the plant. Just like a plant, a leaf is made up of different parts. Observe a leaf. What are the parts that make up a leaf? Leaf stalk, leaf blade and veins are some parts of a leaf. Some leaves do not have leaf stalks. This is the main leaf vein and these are branch leaf veins. The veins of a leaf are made up of tiny tubes. Some of these tubes carry water from the stem to the leaf. Other tubes carry food made by the leaves to the food carrying tubes in the stem. Different types of plants have different types of leaves. Compare the leaves of the hibiscus plant and the orchid plant. In what ways are they similar? And in what way are they different? Observe the different shades of color and shapes of the leaves. The orchid leaf is long and narrow while the hibiscus leaf is oval. Orchid leaf has a smooth edge while hibiscus leaf has a toothed edge. Orchid leaf has parallel veins and hibiscus leaf has one main vein that spreads into net-like vein. Leaves have different colors. They can be of different shades of green. Or they could be non-green or variegated. Remember that leaves are not only green. Most leaves are green but some have different colors too. Leaves also have different shapes. Observe the difference in the shapes of these. Leaves can also be oval or lobed shape. They can be sword shaped or spear shaped too. Leaves comes in all sizes. They can be large, like banana or palm leaves. They could be medium sized like bamboo and mango leaves. Or they could be as small as grass leaves. Different leaves have different types of veins. Some leaves have net like veins while others have parallel veins. As plants are living things that means plants need food. Have you ever seen plants eating food? Unlike other living organisms, plants do not eat food. In the past, people thought that plants got their food from the soil. Do you think that is correct? Yes, plants get their food from soil. Do you know why leaves are green? Leaves have green pigment called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll traps light, which is used to make food. Food gives energy to the plant. Plants make their own food by the process called photosynthesis. It occurs in leaves. Plants need carbon dioxide, water and sunlight to make their food and release oxygen. During photosynthesis, leaves use light energy from the sun which is trapped in the leaves by the chlorophyll to combine carbon dioxide and water to make food. The food produced is in the form of sugar. Oxygen is given out in the process. Now let's discuss flowers. Flowers helps flowering plant to reproduce. Observe some flowers. Which are the most colorful and attractive parts of most flowers? What other part are there beside these part? Let's discuss the parts of flower in detail. This is the cross section of a flower. This part is called sepal. The sepal protect the flower bud. Some plants sepal have same color as petal. The colorful and attractive part of a flower is called a petal. The petals of a flower surround the male and female part of the flower. Petals are soft and colorful. The stigma, style and ovary makes up the female part of the flower called pistil. The ovary has one or more ovules. The female part of the flower is called the pistil. 
it consists of stigma style and ovary the ovary has one or more ovules each of which contains a female reproductive cell called an egg anther and filament makes up the male part of the flower known as stamen the male part of the flower is called the stamen it has a thin stalk known as the filament at the tip of the filament is the anther the anther contains pollen grain the pollen grain contain male reproductive cells the male reproductive cell can fertilize egg a fertilized egg can germinate and develop into a young plant if the conditions are right some plants produce large quantities of pollen grain during certain seasons the large quantity of pollen grain released into air can cause runny nose sneezing and itchy eyes to people who are sensitive to them plants like hibiscus lily and sweet pea have flowers with both male and female parts however in some flowering plants like maize cucumber and willow the male and female parts are found in separate flowers this brings us to the end of the video if you have any queries you can write to us at the study pod 01 at gmail.com